hello friends in this video continuing from uh, one of my last videos where I discussed uh, the Soka Toa we're going to apply Soka Toa uh, or use Soka Toa to find the length of sides and angles in a right angle triangle so <clears throat> I have made an acronym which is LDAC okay this is I call this the steps of success or if you want to make it short that too that is s o s steps of success now what does this mean now to do any example of finding sides or angles in a right angle triangle if you follow these four steps you will probably never go wrong if you go through the steps uh, that i have proposed here so the first step is whenever you have an example of finding the length or an angles of a right angle triangle first thing that you do is label the sides and angles in use I'll explain that uh, so first thing is to label then you have to decide which to use now if you're dealing with O and H that is opposite and hypotenuse you have to use so okay now if you're dealing with adjacent or and hypotenuse you using you will be using car but if you're using uh, uh i should have to r should have be written like this t o a sorry to r okay t o a okay so if you're using opposite and adjacent you will be using 10 i'll explain how to use this as we go the third is to apply the correct formula uh that means Okay, if you, if you want to find O, you cover up O and then you multiply. I'll come to that later. Okay, so the first thing, first let me take one example. Okay, now before I go to the examples, let me also ex, uh, acknowledge. Now, these examples have been taken from uh, a textbook. Uh, let me bring this down. Yeah, uh, this textbook is a New Zealand textbook made for New Zealand students it's called maths and stats of year 10 and these are the name of the writers and uh, you can get more details from this website okay so i i want to give credit uh, or acknowledge uh, these authors for giving uh, for the textbook that they have made okay let me let us start with a very simple example okay the first example okay so I'll go over the steps. Okay, so let's the first example. So you've got a right angle triangle, and uh, you have this angle. Now these triangles are not drawn drawn to scale. So the question is, you want to find for the given triangle below, find the value of x correct to two decimal places. Okay, so yeah, you want to find x. Okay, this angle is 23 degree and this is 1. So the first thing that I told you is label. Now, I will not label this side because we are not dealing with that side. So, when you're labeling the sides, it's always good to start with the hypotenuse. If the hypotenuse is there, so we do know the side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So I'll label that as H. Okay, that's done. Now you have to decide whether this is an opposite side or an adjacent side. So well, I know this is the angle under consideration. So if this is the angle, this is the opposite side. Okay, so this is the opposite side, and this is the angle. So I'll call this angle theta. So I'll label the sides and angles. Okay, so that is done. I'll label the sides and angles. The second is to decide the formula. So look at, you got O and H, so we have to use so. So I've decided, so is what I'm going to use. Okay, that's done. Now you have to apply the formula. Now to apply the formula, I propose that you cover up what you want, uh, what you want to, uh, calculate okay so what i'm what i mean is cover up so let me cover up try to cover up suppose let me 
Okay, now this is covering up. Okay, I'll try to color that. Hold on. Uh, properties. And I'll go to color. And make it black. Okay. Okay, so this is what I mean by it. So I've covered that up. Okay. So this is what I want to find. So I've covered that up. So what what do we need now? So what is what is that you can read? S and H are sitting together. So as you have covered this up, this are sitting together, so you have to multiply these two. Okay. Okay, so my answer would be O. O is what is covered up. O is equal to S times H. Just like that. Now I have to, the last step is calculate. Apply and calculate. Now before doing that, what is my O? O is X. S stands for the sine of the angle. So I will say sine of 23 times hypotenuse which is 1. So X would be, I will use a calculator. So this is my calculator. My calculator is always set on radians, so I have to change my to degrees because we are dealing with degrees. So what I have to do is sine 23 times 1, just like that. And the answer is 0 0.39 into decimal places. Okay, so the answer is x is 0 0.39. Units are not there, so you don't need to write the units, and that's your answer. Okay, okay, now what's the next question? Okay, so let me remove the okay, so this is what I'm going to cover up. Okay, okay, the next question. Okay, let me so again, here the same thing. Yeah, first you have to, I, w I would like you to do it yourself. I'll give you two minutes for you to do it. Okay, you can pause this video and try to do this example yourself okay so here yeah, again this is the angle so i'll name that as theta so this is your hypotenuse and this is your opposite again we have to use we have labeled the sides see again i have not labeled this because we are not dealing with that okay now the next is you want to find o so this is the formula that you're going to use so i'm going to cover that up so cover that up and now what is that you can see o is equal to s times h so i'll write o is s times h now s is always for the sine of the angle now o is your x is sine 43 times what is your h h is 2. So again, use a calculator, get a calculator out, menu. Unfortunately, I have to do the setting every time, so I want to go to degrees. So sine 43 times 2. That will give me 1.36, rounded to two decimal places. So my answer would be 1.36. 1 and I would write here 2 dp. dp stands for decimal places. Here 2, 2 dp. I'll continue this in the next video. Thank you.